Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you the Match.com email, and I'm going to show you how you can tell that it's a scam. This is the email here. It says Match, and it says See who's on Match. It's free to look, so I'm going to open it up. Now we have an image with Match.com logo here. And we have one link to click up here. It says See who's on Match. It's free to look, and if I hover over that, it's going to go to q9pym.calnot.net. That doesn't sound like Match.com to me. The quickest way that you can tell that an email is fake is go to Show Original, copy the entire email. I'm using a program called IPNet Info. I'm going to open that up and I'm going to paste what I just copied into the box and then click OK. And there it is. It's going to bounce out of the U.S. into Romania, and then to Panama, and then back to Colorado again. So these four entries right here tell you that this is a scam. Any information that you give is going to either go to Romania or Panama. Any money that you send is either going to go to Romania or Panama, or both. I'm going to close this out. So now we know that this email right here is definitely a scam. Do not fall for Match.com. And again, the quickest way to check is just do the show original, put it in IPNet Info, and IPNet Info will tell you where it's actually coming from or where it's going to go to. So don't fall for this email. They say over 95% of dating emails are scam, and about 50,000 people a year fall for these. And now I'm going to go to the drop down arrow, and I'm going to click on Report Phishing. And then I'm going to click on the report phishing message. I'm going to go to my spam box. Here it is here, and I'm going to delete it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. To get WOT in Firefox, you go to the drop down menu, and then to add ons. And then under get add ons, you go to the search bar, and you type WOT, all capital letters, and hit enter. And it's not showing up here because I already have it installed, but it would be up here. And you just highlight it and then go to the right over here and click the install button. You'll probably have to restart Firefox after you install it. But once you restart it, then it's running. And if you're using Google Chrome, you go to the settings menu here. And then go to tools. And then to extensions. And here it shows the extensions that I already have that are enabled and disabled. And I don't really want any of these. So I'm going to disable all of them. And then I'm going to go to get more extensions. And in the search box I'm going to type WOT, all capital letters, and hit enter. And here it is right at the top. So now I'm just going to click on the add to Chrome button. Click add. And here it is right up here now. So now Web of Trust is running on the web browser. I'm going to close everything out. And to get IPNet info, I'm going to type CNET, hit enter, click on download.com, and in the search box type IPNet info, all one word, hit enter. Here it is right here. I'm going to click the download button. Save the file. If you have the option to run, go ahead and run. The download's complete, and now I'm just going to click on it, and the setup wizard will open. Then you guys just follow the instructions from there. I'm going to cancel this out, close everything up, 